Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're on our way. Oh. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> Good job. We're all in the same car today because of the current situation. The gas crisis. What are, I don't know what they're calling it. But we, we decided to throw in a video currently because of the situation going on currently. Which is ridiculous. It's stupid. Um, so I guess this hack happened on Friday according to the information we're getting. We found out about it Saturday. Cindy found out about it. Yeah, I was watching YouTube. A, a news feed popped up on my YouTube from a person that I watch who tries to keep current events going and was talking about it and I went upstairs and told Todd something's going on I feel like we probably should need to go fill up our cars and so Todd grabbed his car I grabbed mine and Caleb grabbed his and we went to Costco Saturday oh, evening so bad. and took some gas cans already and Saturday evening the lines were well, they have like four pumps with two on two sides to each pump and they were already totally full and probably four or five cars deep. It was a sea of cars already. And already we all like... got our tanks full and it took me at least 20 minutes to get out of the parking lot. It was that bad already. And then things just continued to escalate until I saw somewhere yesterday that 75% of the pumps yesterday morning in Charlotte were out. And by the end of the day, it was up to 95 because people are scared. They're not going to be able to get to work. There's people are piling their groceries on. They're afraid they're not going to get to the store. It's crazy. It's just crazy. So I, <clears throat> I drove to the property by myself yesterday and took our smaller vehicle. And uh, all the way there, I would just glance over at the gas stations and there were... Um, bags on the pump nozzles, handles. Pump, pump handles, and uh, so all the way there, didn't see a single gas station. I noticed some gas stations looked like they had gas because there were trucks gassing up, and then I realized they were getting diesel, so I guess there's still, or was still more diesel than regular fuel. A lot of, a lot of gas stations had diesel. Um, that was Wednesday. And then I got all the way up there and the very last gas station that's closest to our home did have gas. So I was able to top off and get a full tank of gas. So I'd be full coming home. So I'm, I guess it takes a quarter tank of gas to go round trip. Maybe just a little more, maybe you know, a little more than a quarter. So I went to do my I take Wednesdays and do my shopping and do cooking and, and et cetera, et cetera. And so I jumped in my car to run to Costco to buy some groceries and the traffic was backed up to the street. And this is three days later. And the traffic is backed up to the street. And I look and there's a police officer at the Costco parking lot directing traffic for all the cars because there's two entrances. Well, she's, there's three entrances to the Costco two of them you can get directly to the gas pumps and so they were they were directing traffic and the third entrance they were stopping people and the only people that could go through that entrance were the people that were actually going to buy groceries and needless to say there is nothing at Costco I need that bad so I turned around and went home but people are people are spooked from what's gone on all this last year people don't want to get stuck we're trying to stay topped off if we can, so... Which they're actually asking you on the news not to do. They're asking you not to top off your tank. I don't know what you're supposed to do. I guess you're supposed to just let your car run out of gas. I don't know, but... I didn't know about that, yes, but just staying to topped news. off would be the same as going and getting gas. And like Todd said, where are all these people coming from? Does everybody drive around with empty cars all the time? What? How is this happening? So, anyway... That's our current crazy situation. There is, there has been some price gouging. I haven't seen it, but there has been some to the west of us. Someone was charging nine ninety nine for for gas per gallon, and on the other side of us, I think it was up to like some people were up to four ninety nine 
here it's it's right around three dollars, two eighty nine to three dollars. So it's not it's not anything we haven't seen before, but it's higher than it has been. So, and I think that's just going to continue. Anyway, that's our current update. So we are all in one car today. Usually Caleb drives himself. So we're trying to get yeah, we're trying to help save gas. save his gas. They say it'll be sorted out by the weekend. Today is Thursday. So we'll see. Or sorted out through the weekend is we'll see, what you were saying. I can't imagine it's not going to take a little bit of time to get all these places full again and get things running. So it might be into next week before it's all back to normal, whatever that is anymore. So anyway, I hope you all are doing well. And it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Enjoy it and be blessed.